Evening guys, it's a rainy night here in the UK, it's spring but it's raining, it's been nice and sunny today, but uh, she's raining, it's about 10.30 at night, come out here with a brew, mm. Mm. that's like coffee, black, yeah so today I, um, <clears throat> I cleaned up my old rad, just degreased it, with a bit of a brush, with a toothbrush and like a, a soft wire brush and um, it's got a, a few little marks on it but I should have really sanded it I thought, I think, but um, it's an original one so yeah, I uh, yeah, just masked it up so I'll just show you me uh, um, actually, hey, I'll just peel a little tape off and then show you So as you can see, scrubbed up all right. I also cleaned the uh, the cap with a wire brush and some degreaser, a uh, bit of WD forty forty, just to um, you know give it like a new lease of life. All the rubber's fine in it. The spring's good. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit dirty and it's pretty old, but you know, shiny enough. Yeah, you know, this turned out really well. Um, it's an original from the 1100, so it's not, a, I don't think it's going to be a permanent solution. But I think, you know, for the purposes of uh, getting started, getting going, getting the engine running, you know, I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be fine. So yeah, I'm going to fit this tonight. I bought some new clips from um, Old School Oval. Get there. Gotta say the packaging just fantastic from those guys. You get a nice box with a logo on it, um, and everything's like individually named, so you know you don't forget what you ordered. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, that's right. Because I can see it happening if you buy generic stuff off eBay, you know, and then you chuck it in with the rest of your stuff, it can very easily get mixed up with something else. So yeah, I'm gonna fit this. Oh, I also. Um, cleaned up the original fan. This was the yellow one. Um, to be honest, I thought the yellow looked a bit naff in the engine bay. So yeah, just gave this a couple of coats with some um, uh, some acrylic uh, spray paint. That turned out right. Yeah, it's gonna look nice and snazzy in the old engine bay. And I'm. I'm hoping to reuse this. I might give it a wire brush and a general clean, but it's the water cooler uh, hose for the top of the engine. Um, you know, I mean, they're 30 quid new, and to be honest, I mean, the hose goes there, so you're never really going to see that sort of manky, slightly corroded bit. Um, it's going to look like that. So, obviously, you know, new gasket. Oh, that's just had um, it's like gasket sealant on it. Oh, there's a paper one on there as well. Um, but yeah, you know, wire brush, WD-40 general cleanup, bit of a polish that'll come up fine. So that's gonna go on. So radiator installed. The fan was a bit of a bit of a fiddly one because there's not much. Obviously, put the fan in first. Um, there's not much movement around the fan because you've got to get you've got to get the pulley into position with the water pump and then the fan in position with all well all three holes have to line up and there's not much room there even <clears throat> without the radiator in there um, so yeah I mean it's all in it's fine uh, all talked up these clips are really nice they, uh, they went in lovely, far easier than the uh, the bolts that were supplied, I mean the bolts that were in there, and you know, you can see it's nice and tight in there now, but yeah they were 
they're a, a breeze to to line up. So yeah. They obviously put the fan on there. I mean, sorry, the belt in preparation for the alternator. Um, so I've got the bracket on there, down there, but I don't have the bolt. So that's another thing I've got to buy. But yeah, she's uh, getting closer. I'll clean this up. Um, just with some uh, thousand grit and some WD-40 and then a bit of Brasso just to polish it. I think it came up all right. I mean, it, you know, shiny enough. Definitely saved myself some money there. You know, 30 quid for a new one. I just didn't think it was worth it. Um, and so, um, you know, as I mentioned, this, this part here is going to be covered by the hose anyway. So, you know, it's going to look like that. You know, and in my mind, that's good enough. Evening guys, <coughs> bit of dust. <laughs> Evening guys, uh, it's uh, Friday night and snuck out to the garage again. A bit of beer. Um, tonight it is American IPA, bloody good stuff. Um, yeah, so I've got a little bit of an update. I recently acquired a new second hand, so not new, uh, front grill. It's a Mark 1 Mexico front grill. And it's not bad. To replace my, I mean it's a, an original Ford grill, as you can see. It's pretty good. Um, from what I've seen on eBay, this is one of the best ones. and. It's straight-ish, a little bit of a, a bend in it, but around here, and sort of on this black grill here, and it has been painted, I can tell it's been uh, uh, spray painted black, but with a bit of sanding and a little bit of gentle manipulation and tapping with a hammer, it's actually come up pretty good, and I've offered it up to the Mark One and it fits a lot better than the Burton one that I have on there at the minute. If I were to use this one, I would have to like um, screw in some sort of plate because I don't want to drill into the um, into the shell just to fit a grill. So I might have to like modify this slightly. Um, but yeah, I've, I've never seen that before unless you guys have seen anything like that on a Mark 1 where you've got the two um, fixing points like that. I've only ever seen them with one in the centre where that notch is, so unless this is from a van or something, I have no idea. But yeah, with a bit of sanding, it should come up quite nice. It needs straightening out a bit. But yeah, should be good. Hopefully. We'll see. So what I might do is just give it a Bit of a clean, um, bit of a sand, straighten it up, uh, and then fit it again, um, and then compare it to the, the Burton one. But the difference with the Burton one is the angles here are a lot more square. I mean, I'm not a perfectionist or anything, but. You know, when it comes to the front of the car, it needs to look right. Um, you can see here, it's like really straight, big curve there and sharp again here. That's just not how they were made, um, which is why I bought the second hand one. I got a good price on it, so yeah, it's worth a, worth a shot. Even if I have to like modify the hole slightly, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on.